All right, so today's lesson is about describing solutions quantitatively. You will need page two out of your new unit 10, little mini unit 10 packet. Um, yesterday in our lesson, we learned how to describe solutions qualitatively using the terms saturated, unsaturated, and supersaturated. Today, we're gonna to be putting some numbers with, um, with these um, descriptions of um, solution concentration. So molarity is the most commonly used unit in science for solution concentration. Um, we also use um, percent by mass and also um, mol uh, molality as well. Um, but molarity is the one that is used most commonly. Um, molarity describes the concentration of solution in terms of moles of solute per liter of solution, and that is important because if you're given any other unit besides moles, we will have to convert it to moles. And any other volume unit besides liters, you will need to convert that to liters. Um, the most common um, unit that's used other than liters is the milliliter. So keep in mind that one liter is a thousand milliliters. So that's something we'll be using and converting between um, quite often during this. Put this formula on your purple sheet um, so the symbol for molarity is a capital M, okay, not a lowercase m, but a capital M. So when we say that a solution is, say, 2.4 molar, that means that there are 2.4 moles of solute per liter of solution. Remember, solutions include um, the volume or the mass of the solute plus the solvent. And so it includes both of those things. So you, it's not 2.4 moles of solute per liter of water, it's 2.4 moles of solute per liter of solution. Okay. So this is the formula we're using, molarity is equal to moles over liters. Okay. So for example one, we have 0.450 moles of sodium chloride that are dissolved to make a 95.0 milliliter of solution. And we're just gonna calculate the concentration and molarity of the sodium chloride solution. So we're going to take um, 0 0.450 moles and divide it by the volume. Now you'll notice that this is in milliliters, so you need to divide this by a thousand and convert it into liters first. So 95.0 milliliters is 0 0.0950 liters. So we're going to divide these two and we have a, with three significant figures, 4.74 molar sodium chloride solution. So we label our solutions with the solutes um, formula. All right, number two, how many moles of calcium nitrate are there in 75 milliliters of a 0.25 molar solution? All right, so we know the molarity is 0.25 molar. We're looking for the moles, so I'll put X for that over the volume, and you'll notice this is in milliliters, so again, convert that to liters by dividing by 1,000. Now we're solving for X, 0 0.075 times 0.25. And with two significant figures, we get 0 0.019 moles of calcium nitrate. Okay. All right, so the next one I had to change the wording because it was um, it was not completely worded in the problem. So you have 15 grams of sodium chloride that's added to water for a total volume of 75 milliliters. So this is the total volume of our solution. We want to find the molarity of it. Now you'll notice that the amount of sodium chloride is given in grams. So the first thing we have to do is convert the grams into moles. So 15 grams of sodium chloride, I'm gonna say one mole of sodium chloride is 58.45 grams. That's the molar mass off of the periodic table. Okay, so 15 divided by 58.45 tells us we have 0.26 moles of sodium chloride that is in the solution. Okay, so now we're gonna divide that by the volume in liters. So 0.26 moles divided by, converting your milliliters into liters, 0 0.075 liters. Okay. 
and we get 3.5 molar sodium chloride solution. Okay. All right, so there are some practice problems here at the bottom. I'm going to make a separate video um, showing the solutions to these problems, but I would suggest taking some time to work these before you try the problems on Chem 101. That is it for our lesson today.